Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Aquaman from Fortnite and DC Comics. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. I like I like it to shoot off whenever I, uh, when I do that. I, I discovered it worked one time and so I've been trying to do it every single time. So. That's, that's the goal there. All right, so I'm putting him in a swimming pose. I know Fortnite doesn't really have like a swimming. Well, okay, it does, it does, right? It, I'm not gonna say it doesn't have like a swimming option. It does, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying it right. I don't have my words right, right? That's what I always tell you guys. I'm not a speaker, I'm a drawer. But anyway, um, I am, uh, anyway, I'm choosing to put him in more of a uh, swimming pose. Because it's it's Aquaman, right? Okay, and so just give me a second to find the pose, and uh, he's gonna have that old superhero leg. You know what I always tell you not to do? Like, don't draw the knee all up like that. But everybody does it. Uh, I'm doing it on him. I'm gonna give him that old the little old uh, superhero leg. And what I mean by that is everybody always draws, say this is your legs, they always draw one leg like way high up like that. Like you can see the knee, you can barely, the foot's back behind and eh, I'm guilty of it too. I used to do it when I was, you know, in my, in my youth, in the days of my youth when I was drawing superheroes and whatnot. It's, it's, you know, it's habit. Everybody wants to do it. It's because, you know, we've seen it so much and whatnot. So. I'm always trying to say, don't do that. Do something different. You know, make it, make it, uh, make it your own. Make it unique. And also, your body doesn't do that. So don't, don't, uh, don't always do. It. But you know, you know, I, and I say this every time. I'm going to tell this story. I tell this story a lot. It's just comics. You know, it's it's not uh, it's not real. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Because one time. I was applying for a, a comic artist position and the uh, description uh, described, well, the description described, right? Again, remember, I'm not a speaker. Uh, the description of the scene I was supposed to draw was, you know, draw this character in at night in an alley. And it made me laugh because it said, you know, it doesn't have to be a full moon, every, not every night. Uh, is is a full moon so you know it's like they were asking for some kind of realism you know but the thing is it was a comic book and it was a comic book about a ghost so it just made me laugh that you know it's like um it it it's it's about a ghost you know so it's like how real can it be you know and why why are you asking for specifics like that or or being very um what's the word i'm looking for the, 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 the semantic, you know, when, when you're, you're splitting hair, so to speak. It's like, why? Because um, it, it's not, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so that's what I just caught myself doing when I was trying to tell you not to do something. I was like, you know what? Do what you want because this is, uh, it's comics, it's cartoons, it's, uh, it's what do you call it? It's, it's Fortnite. Do what makes you happy, okay? All right. Okay, I don't have this leg down. Let me let me sketch this out a little bit better. It's a little bit better. There's something odd about it. Something I'm not quite getting. Okay, I think that'll work. And I'm putting too many sketch lines on this part. I know that once I start uh, erasing, things are gonna change. Um, so let's try to give him his trident. Let's see what I can do here. The problem is we're gonna run out of time and I don't know how much time. I don't wanna make this too super long 
you know, I want to give you enough to draw, but you know, you don't want to be drawing here for five hours, right? I don't know, maybe you do. If you do, hey, good for you, you know? Always do what you love. Okay, oh, so the other thing too is he's we're pretty much going to be drawing a naked man because his costume is so uh, skin tight and, and it's like I like that armor look all over it. I'm not drawing that armor look. I'm just drawing the outfit and so we're kind of just drawing a bunch of, uh, of muscles is all we're really doing. I hope I'm not running out of room here. I'm getting super close, huh? There we go. I'll angle that hand in just a little bit. There we go. I kind of uh, jumped the gun, made him a little bit too big. But you know, it's it's uh, not often that I get to draw a bigger character because usually. Uh, falling out we're only filling from here to here now we're kind of going this way so I get to add a little bit extra so I'm just gonna draw the hand and we'll see if we can get the trident but like I said it's gonna be super long if we do so let me see what I can do here for the Aquaman I wanted to say that from the very beginning and say now yeah, we're drawing Aquaman just to be silly but I know I know someone's gonna come back and say that's not how you say it because even though I know I'm being silly, you know, not everybody else knows. And, you know, some people don't want silly. Some people want, uh, you know, respect what they love. I get it. I get it. You know, you say, uh, you say Han Solo and say, oh no, it's Han. You need to get it right, you know. But, uh, you know, again, it's just, it's just Star Wars. It's just Fortnite, you know. We're being silly, having fun. All right, there you go. Yeah, so let's just do the hand swimming. Maybe. <laughs> let me see. Let me see what we get there. So if I do that, if I do, yeah, because I would have to do it way over like this bent, and then I'm going to run out of room of where it's going to hit. So yeah, so let's just do a swimming pose. Uh, so the, the trick is I'm looking at um, store pictures like um, you know the store pose when you when you buy them in the store so in other words he's not in this pose so the trick is to try to figure out how to get him here and basically this is why it helps to learn your anatomy because now I have to figure out you know, in this pose, what are his bones doing? What are his muscles doing? What are the details of the costume doing? And that's really what it's coming down to. Because you got to look at the, posi the, the the details and the position, and then you can uh, you can place them. Okay, so we're gonna do the head off to the side a little bit. I don't know if we've done one like this in a while or if ever. Because usually it's like straight at you, you know. So this one's going to be more over, but uh, or more. If this is the head, is going to be turned like this. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a different look, and that's good because we got to mix it up. We got to do some different stuff every now and then. We can't draw the same thing all the time. You got to diversify your portfolio, so to speak, and it's good practice. Okay, and also um, I'm gonna give him like like flowing water hair and what I mean by that is is uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna be a little little exactly that see this is why I say I'm not a good speaker I don't know why I'm trying to come up with a better word I just said the exact exact perfect description of what I'm talking about but I felt like I had to find better words for it flowing water hair that's it that's it describes it all right there 
but I just felt like I had to do something else. I don't know. I feel like I, I owe it to you to try to entertain you and and come up with some good, uh, um, again, I'm looking for words, some good uh, entertainment and, and, and descriptions. Okay, so, let's see. Here's something I don't get. I mean, they explored this in the comic book, and I know, uh, what's his face, um, Captain Mimoma, uh, he's got a beard, and so that's why it's got, a, he's, it's in here, you know, but I don't understand if, again, I'm getting very specific on this, and I shouldn't, but if it's an aquatic person, why do they have hair, you know what I mean? I get it, it's like man-based, like it's, it's kind of like if uh, a man was underwater. I get it. I, I get all that, you know? But, you know, fish don't have water or don't have hair. Fish don't have water. You hear that, genius? So, this person should not be discussing uh, theory and ideas with you because I say things like, fish don't have water. What a genius. All right. I'm just going to continue sketching real fast and get going because we are running out of time. This is taking too long and uh, we need to get going. All right, so let's do that. All right, looks good to me. Let me erase some of these sketch lines and we'll get going. Again, this is mostly body uh, shaping, so it shouldn't take too long. But, uh, because, you know, this is about the costume. But um, let's welcome everybody that skipped. Let's start working on that Sharpie. And then we'll get going. All right, looks good to me. All right, so let's do it. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that the fine point can't quite find sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of it, but left myself a small ghost of an image that I could use to guide me on this Sharpie adventure. And I'm going to get started with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line widths much better or much easier. And I've got his head, if this is the head facing at you, right? Like that. I've got his head turned a little bit like this. Okay. And that's a weird looking turn. Turn like this. So I'm going to start with the eyes, the top of the lids, but again, they're turned just slightly. So I'm going to come in and do this, do another one like that. Again, it's like this, so we know it's off to the side. So I'm going to draw his retinas, the round color part of the eye. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of a pupil in the front. And I'm just going to dab it a little bit with uh, my Sharpie because it's so tiny I can't add too many details or it'll bleed. Same thing with the bottom of the eye. I'm just going to kind of come in and, and hint that there's a bottom like that and let the retina represent the bottom of it. And color will take care of a lot of that too. So let's give him uh, a nose and eyebrows. So for, usually I don't draw the, the uh, rim of the nose, but because we have an edge, because it's turned, you can see the top part. So I can actually put that in now. Okay. There we go, we'll add that for the nose. So now that we have that, I can build on some eyebrows. And so he's got, on Fortnite, they gave him some thick old eyebrows, so I'm going to go ahead and reproduce those thick eyebrows like this. Do another one like that. And there we go. So, let's build off of this since I have a start-stop point. I'm going to go ahead and draw the edge of his face like this. There's his cheek to his, his uh, um, beard. Wow, I just don't have my words. I never have words. I always say that. I don't know why I always have to explain that, but I don't. I don't have words. All right, so let's draw his beard. I'm going to give him a little center um, split like that. And then I'm going to just add something like this. So basically, I'm just kind of adding the edge, but not actually drawing all the, the, the hair lines. You know, we just kind of want to draw a perimeter, so to speak. And then I'm going to come back with the sharp, with the sharpie, with the color and add a little bit more. So there's his bottom lip, and we're not going to worry about the top lip because um, his his mustache is pretty much hiding all that anyway. 
but I'm gonna draw the bottom something like this just to kind of highlight that it's coming out of his face right and uh, and go off that oh and also I've talked about this that I'm going for kind of a uh, a uh, flowing water underwater uh, Aquaman so some of the hair is going to be kind of, you know, a little, little flowing, a little uh, wispy and all over the place. All right, so let's see. How about we do? Let's do the edge of his head real fast, and we can build off of that. And I'm just going to kind of flow like this because, again, his hair is going to be floating in the water and we're just going to kind of play around with a little bit of of uh, what you can and can't see so there's his ear we're going to give him a little bit of a, a uh, what do you call it a sideburn there there's the edge of his head but again there's some hair flowing so I'm just going to kind of play with lines like that so now I think I'm going to switch over because I've got enough of the fine detail here that I'm going to start working with the Sharpie fine point and just draw some flowing hair so this will kind of guide us with uh, um, where we want to take it okay now I add a little bit of detail because here's the other thing too uh, this Sharpie is not a fine point. It's called fine point, but it's not. It's very, very fat because it's made for other things, not drawing such tiny little details. So I like to come back and add little lines just to highlight that uh, um, there, there's, there's a little bit more detail, you know? There we go, a little flowing, flowing underwater hair. And then we'll do more with color. But uh, yeah, just, just showing that he's, he's, he's uh, there, flowing underwater. I don't know why I'm trying to come up with better words. I kept saying this through the sketch. It's like, you said it, you already said it. Just, <laughs> you're, you're trying too hard, trying too hard, old man. All right, so I've got him kind of floating in the water with his hands. You know, he's swimming. So that means if his arms are raised, he's already got big shoulders. That means they're raising up. So as you raise your arm here, I don't know why I'm pointing right there. I was going to say, like, if you raise your arm like this, your shoulder muscle comes up with it. So we're going to say his front chest, let's see, his, his collar is going to go up like this, but it's raised up here because of that... Uh, deltoid that shoulder muscle so that's raised up like that and so the other thing is I was talking about this in the sketch his we're pretty much just gonna draw a naked man because his costume is is just skin tight with that armor plating all over but I'm not drawing the armor plating so we're gonna be drawing basically anatomy so we're gonna be drawing so that's why I just say naked man okay let me draw some big old pecs Okay, and another one's gonna come over like this because of the muscles falling over on themselves. And let's see, so that also means that his chest is down here. So the bottom of his arm is gonna come down here to his elbow. There's his uh, his uh, bicep, and uh, his the crook of his arm is gonna bend right here. So I'm gonna come up here to about right there. And uh, we're gonna draw the the armor the uh, hand piece, I guess is what we're gonna do. So because it's got like that 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 uh, that kelpie um, wave to it, I'm just gonna do something like this. Like that. Then I'm gonna highlight it with the small sharpie. 
just to complement it, you know, just to give it a cool look. Go in here and just to, you know, make it make it stand out. So his hands, I pretty much just have, he's swimming, so I've got him in like a, you know, just all tight to, to cup that water whenever you're swimming. So I'm going to draw the back of his hand like this, up to his pinky. And I can draw the, the little meat part right there, and that will also give us the edge that we can start drawing off of. So I'm going to draw his ring finger back behind it, middle finger, index finger and then his thumb is tucked in tucked in deep because like I said he's doing his doing his laps okay all right I like to add a lot of a lot of hand lines just to show that yeah there's there's bends there all right so like I said it, it, it's all that it's all armor right here so I'm not gonna draw anything extra because of the way the armor is built in okay so I'm gonna draw this arm same thing over here just the other way so I'm gonna come over here for the bicep there's the crook of the arm uh, we'll say there's the elbow like that we'll go ahead and draw the the bicep like we did there we're gonna come up to that same spot something like that come down just basically do the same thing just do the opposite way all right all right so well this time we'll say because it's centered we'll say that it's going around we're gonna take it around town take it around town See here, it's on the side there, you see more of the middle of it. So just something like that, just to make it, make it our own. Okay. All right. So now same thing with this hand, but the other way. So since you can see the thumb, thumb, the thumb, blah, blah, the thumb first, I'm going to draw that first. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to draw the index finger, the middle finger ring finger and the pinky and come in and just kind of close it off with, uh, with some lines like I said I love to draw hand lines sometimes I draw too many but uh, I just kind of like it. it just really stands out you know all right so now we're just gonna work our way down and again we're just basically drawing anatomy so I'm gonna draw the his rib cage into his stomach. All right. Um, there are some muscles there, so I'll come back and do this. Let's at least um, smooth that out. Let's at least highlight his uh, his uh, um, his abs. I couldn't think of the word. But I've said it before. I'm not a speaker. Something like that. We're not going to draw all of them. Okay. But see how it looks like he's pretty much naked? Because that's all we can really do is, uh, you know, add some, um, some armor. Okay. Okay, let's give him a belt. The old Aquaman belt. his Atlantean belt and we'll add just a little bit of another level to it just something like that again just to kind of highlight a little thick and thin compliment okay and it's gonna go up his side here in my hand I, I'm, I'm trying to make it staggered like that I'm not just nervous it's got a, a specific look to it So it's got like this, this uh, not scaled, but like that's what, that's the first word that came to my brain, a scaled look. 
just because it's it's stair stepped like this. All right, I love that sound by the way. Okay, and so I stop there because there's like a leg piece and it kind of comes up a little bit right there, and that's what I wanted to do first. Okay, and so it's like more armor. And you can't really see it on this side, so we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to draw his uh, his old crotch piece here. Uh, that's the one thing that doesn't make him naked is you don't see any any of his, his uh, personal bits. You know, it's that's where you can see that. Oh, it is a suit. Okay. Uh, okay. So I see something that's bugging me. It's just more musculature that I wish I curved in like that. So I'm just going to do that. All right. Let's keep going. So now we're just going to draw his legs, and it's same thing. We're going to draw his muscles to his, how high does it come up? To his knee. That, that was kind of weird. I don't know why I did that. There, I covered it up. So, I'm gonna draw his other leg here, his other leg, his first leg. There's the knee to his calf to his uh, boot. That's what it is. All right, so the boot's got an edge. We'll do this leg in a second. The boot's got an edge like the arms. It's got this this cool, uh, like, uh, I keep wanting to say kelp. That's exactly what I think of. Like a kelpish looking um, spike. That's the word I'm thinking of. I don't know. Why am I trying to come up with words? I just need to draw, right? Just draw it. Okay, now, see how it's floating everything? is because I wanted that above, and then I can draw the edges. So I'm imagining if the leg's going through, you gotta remember where it's coming through, right? Okay, so the foot's just basically pointed down because he's, he's swimming. He's kicking. And all you're really seeing is the top of his foot. Okay. So, I'll add just a little bit of like, we'll give him a knee. You know, just so you can see the the midpoint, you know, at least where we are there. And I'll see if I can add a little bit of extra detail here. I should be doing this with color. But uh, it just looks so cool. It's just so fun. And we're not going to get to do it over here since it's a completely different uh, angle. So, you know, I was just trying to have a little bit of fun with it. Right, so there we go. So we're done with that leg. Let's move on to this one. And I've just got it bent because again, he's just swimming. So I'm just gonna come out to the knee like that. I got, I've got, because I've got his bent, because I've got his bent, exactly. I'm just gonna add some creases right there. Then I'm gonna add that armor over here. How many did I do, three? Yeah that all right oh why did I put that down okay so now we're gonna draw we're gonna attempt to draw this but at a different angle so I'm gonna draw the back of his leg into his thigh into his knee and his leg is bent so I'm gonna do something like this and come into it try to smooth that out a little bit so let's see we're gonna say that it comes down like this and then, how about we do something like, it is gonna come out a little bit, so we'll go ahead and do like the side view of it. How did I mean I'd do three? And come down to his ankle like that. And so again, since you can't see both of them, this side is pretty much just smooth. Okay. So, let me just play around with what I did there, and we'll just say that it's something like this. And I'm doing it with the smaller Sharpie on this side, just because I feel like it's, it's more subtle, you know? Whereas here, you're looking straight at it, and there, here we're doing a little bit more subtlety and, uh, and working our way in. All 
right. There we go. So there, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Aquaman from Fortnite and DC Comics. So here's my colored version. You can color it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.